Hackney Driver, as you know, shot to fame in the 90s and has been performing both on the big screen and small screen for four decades. Incredible. She looks oh, back right. at her incredible life in a career uh, memoir, Managing Expectations. Mm. We're going to talk to her in just a moment. First, though, here's Emily Malik. We're going to miss the bus. Bye. Yes, bye. Mini Driver burst into public view in Circle of Friends. It was her breakout role playing opposite Chris O'Donnell, critically acclaimed for her goofy portrayal of Benny. The part propelled her into the groundbreaking movie Good Will Hunting, winning her an Oscar nomination for Best Supporting Actress. I would give it back in a second if it meant I could have one more day with him, but I can't. Off screen, it led to romance with co-star Matt Damon, but ultimately to agonising heartbreak after a very public split. More nominations followed for The Riches opposite Eddie Izzard and for Will and Grace, where she showed off her comedic timing as she shared scenes with comedy icon John Cleese. I'm going to head back to my seedy little hotel room, which ironically was quite nice before I moved in. <laughs> Over four decades, Driver has appeared in more than 50 films and TV shows and is now sharing her own story for the first time, which she says is about how things not working out worked out in the end. We are thrilled that Minnie joins us now. <laughs> I, do you, I mean, I'm fascinated. When you watch those things back, do you sort of enjoy that sort of retrospective look at things that you've done over the years? Yeah, like that, when it's, like, 15 seconds. <laughs> I, don't, um, I don't really watch it, and I don't watch anything that I've done. I watch it at the time, but it's really, it's really weird and hard and strange. It's like getting lost in a photo album. Like, it's nice, it feels nostalgic, but when it's, like, a whole film or TV show, all you end up doing is going... God, look at look at that. What was I doing? Or how did I look? I don't know. It's weird. So it's become uber critical of your performance or Yeah, it's more fun just doing it and live like yes. I like the doing of it. Mm. Like I'm making a I'm making a, a TV show in France right now and the doing of it is so incredible and hard and brilliant. But it, that's the bit that I remember. That's the bit that I think about in my life. And it's really interesting because in this book, which we both mm. absolutely... Gripped by. We love it. Oh. And that's not just for telly, genuinely. It's not a traditional it's sort not, of... It's, it's not, not like, like Mini Driver's life on no. screen. No. It's so much more... It's, 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 it's so poetic and beautifully written. But what's really interesting is that you have so much sort of... As you're going through telling your life story, you, you sort of describe this whole desire to be someone else almost, to not have to look inward, to be... to not have to not fix yourself, but to, to, to keep running away from yourself all the time by being someone else. It's a kind of... sort of a, a sort of desperate need to get, escape all the time is, a, is something you talk about, in a way, yeah. in this book. I mean, your I early life. All, I think we all, you know... We all play different roles in our lives, you know, we're different with our partners than we are with our parents, with our friends. Like, I'm fascinated by identity. It's why I love that show, The Riches, so mm. much. I'm sort of obsessed with that idea of what it is to, 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 to feel another life, mm. um, which, in a way, you can... You, it always brings you back to your own, and, like, the examination of that um, is interesting to me. You're, I mean, obviously you burst on screens, as we are saying, in Circle of Friends and then Good Will Hunting had this enormous success. The thing I was gripped by with the book, and I've got the audiobook, so you read it to me, which is why you were reading me a bedtime story last night. <laughs> exactly. Uh, but it's, it's your early life, Minnie, when you were little with your mum and, 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 and sort of all the extraordinary events around growing up with your sister and your parents and their relationship and the things that you went through. Like, you were a feisty, ambitious... A uh, strong-willed child that was full of energy, but was also trying to fit into a sort of a, a world that didn't seem ready for you. I, 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 what, I, that's what I felt. I think I've always felt like that. I think I still feel like that. That the the um, the the box, which is the the sort of expectation, I, I never quite fit into. I don't really think I fit into it in Hollywood or anywhere. And in a way, getting older is about realizing that that's. That's so fine and actually so great and idiosyncratic and that we, we try to typicalise everything. And the um, idea of being a difficult woman in Hollywood... Yeah, difficult... ..and being sort a, of your card being it's marked a is something you talk word. about. It's, a no, it's, a, it's, a, it's nonsensical and it is sort of created by... Um, it's created to sort of, to, I think, to suppress women and mm. to keep them, which everyone sort of agreed with, particularly in the 90s, you know, you were... Oversexualized and underappreciated, and not expected to speak out. And if you did speak out about anything, you were branded 
uh, shrill, feisty, difficult, outspoken. I, I, I love and also loathe those words when they're used in the context of women. Like, you know, I'm still being defined by a 25-year-old relationship with Matt. Like, Matt's amazing and has had this amazing career and I've had this amazing career and it was this, this, this lovely fragment of sort of sweetness yes. when we were really young and everything was sort of beginning. Do you find um, that frustrating or is that just a symptom of, of you know, the world that, that you work in? Yeah, I think, I think it's both. And I, I think also we, we do tend to, to, to sort of establish women in the context of, like, who they've been in relationships with, you know? Yeah. I find that a bit annoying and reductive. But for me, the answer has always just been to do well, more. You write books, you make more music, you make more films and television, you answer all of that noise with with your brightness and, and your interest. What and comes curiosity. across finally is that, of course, your relationship with your beautiful boy is the one that yeah. truly defines you. That's the man, man in the only man in your life that really matters. Mm -hmm. And uh, that is gorgeous. It's a really beautiful book. I I can't, well, can't, I, it's, it's, it will absolutely defy your expectation. I mean, that's the, that's the point of it. You know, when listening to it, Minnie, it's, a, it's, a, oh. it's brilliant. It's thank you, gripping. Thank you. It's, it's lovely brilliant. to see you as well. Thank really you. nice. Thank, thank you, you for so me. much. Thank you. And getting the pink theme as well. There's By the way, we all got the memo. Yeah, we, we all did. got the memo. He's got the socks. Yeah, lovely stuff. Thanks so much.